everybody, this is Praxis and I'm laying the perimeter drain around the root cellar slash fallout shelter. And I, as you can see, I finished it up yesterday, I got it all covered in asphalt. I did it just perfectly, so I just finished up one of the five gallon buckets of asphalt and I didn't have to crack into a new one so I can return the extra ones that I had. Uh, that went really, really well, and I think it just looks crazy. It looks like something like from outer space, like a monolith from 2001 or whatever. It's kind of kind of unfortunate it's going to get buried because it's really crazy looking. Uh, but uh, anyway, it is going to get buried, and before it does, I wanted to put in this perimeter drain. I wasn't initially thinking of doing a perimeter drain. I was just kind of like, ah, you know, I think that's superfluous. I, I don't think it's a big deal. But seeing the way the water pooled here and the fact that it didn't drain down through the soil the other day, it, it kind of stuck around, that makes me think this, this soil is not very permeable. There's probably a lot of clay in here, and I don't want to come up uh, into this thing later on and find like you know a swimming pool in the bottom of it so I figured I'll install the perimeter drain it's not that much work it's not that much money and it, it's a little bit of insurance and I'll be able to cut a little uh, uh, little what do you want to call that I'm gonna dig out through the dirt over there it's not very far to get to uh, where the slope would kind of meet it and, and the stuff could drain out really easily um, I'm installing it with this 4 inch drain pipe and one thing I would mention is if you are ever, are ever doing this and you're buying 4 inch pipe for something, you get 4 inch, you know, these couplings or 90 degree bends uh, to, to slide on here. Uh, not all 4 inch fittings work with all 4 inch pipe and that might seem kind of weird, it's like 4 inches should be 4 inches. But, uh, well, for example, these black pipes up here, the Schedule 40 stuff, if I tried to slide this onto there, it doesn't work. Uh, the reason for that is that this stuff has thicker walls, so it's uh, it, the, the four inches describes the interior diameter, not so much the exterior diameter. So if you're ever buying this stuff, make sure you take your fittings and just just slide them on before you leave the store. Just make sure you're getting the right fittings because they all look pretty much the same. It's just some of them are, are just slightly bigger. So I'm going to be installing this 90 degree bend. I've already got these guys both uh, leveled out and uh, they're you know ready to kind of drain off in that direction. And I'm going to put this guy on. So procedure for that. And these camera, the, the camera run on this 360 degree camera is only five minutes. So if I go over, my apologies, it may just cut me off in the middle here. All right. Normally, you know, it's kind of awkward. Normally you'd put it on both fit surfaces, but I'm just going to put it on one because it's awkward. And honestly, this is drain pipe anyway. So uh, what does it matter? What does it matter if there's a few leaks? around here because the whole bottom of it's all covered in perforated holes. All right, so I got that, that side in and now I'm going to do the other one. I'm doing them at the same time so that I can make sure that everything lines up perfectly while I'm doing it. There we go. Going on the inside here. And I'll put a little extra on just to make sure they can join. All right, and well, I don't know. I'll put a little one here. Just kind of awkward with them all close to each other. And I'm going to take this one and I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist, but I want to keep what's down, facing down. There we go. All right, cool. And we've got a nice angle here. I got these little sticks I figure I could use to kind of prop it up. I got a level to kind of track my, my progress, but otherwise I'm just going to go around. And my plan is, is while they're excavating over there, well, we're going to dump some gravel around it. You want to have gravel over it, and then you're going to put like a, um, a barrier, like a, a fiber barrier to keep silt and sediment from getting into your pipe. But after that, I figured while they're excavating over there to make the daylight drain and bring the landscape down, I'll just have them dump it directly here, be more efficient that way, and uh, you know, just keep them moving faster. That's it. Thanks for watching.